right, welcome back everyone to the channel and welcome to the training. Another dynamic day, upper body. Gonna be doing bench presses, 80% week. Gonna be adding some chains today. Let's get warmed up. All right, dynamic day, 80%. 80% of the one rep max is about 248. Two weeks ago, I worked out with chains and I did uh, a dynamic 10 sets of three at with 215 on the bar plus the chains. Last week I did bands and this week I have 225 loaded up with the chains, but I'm gonna add some tens to the outside, which will put me at 245 which is almost 80%, and then I'm adding the chains. So just to discuss for a second about chains versus bands, the chains add some instability because they're not pulling me in any direction, but as the links, the advantage of chains, I think, is the links go to the ground, and when they're on the ground, they're not on the bar. So that's why at the chest, it's lighter weight. The chain is on the ground, but as you push up, every chain link that comes up off the ground is a little bit more weight so over the course of the whole lift, you're getting a continuous weight increase of 20 pounds each side. So 40 pounds from almost nothing to 40 pounds at the top. It definitely feels different than bands. So I like working both with chains and bands, but uh, yeah, chains today. Plus they sound awesome. So this is actually gonna be a 285 bench at the top, but it will be 80% at my chest because I'm trying to make it a little bit more difficult and the chains will hopefully help me push through that sticking point in the middle that I keep failing on my max effort attempt. Let's get into it. That last one was really tough, so I dropped it down 20 pounds and I keep at it.
All right, that felt good. Dynamic 245 with, uh, with the chains, 285. I did that for three sets. I'm disappointed I couldn't do that for all 10, but uh, that was a little heavy. So I backed it off to 225 plus the chains, but I got th seven sets there. So that was good. I definitely feel that in my arms, my shoulders. I can feel my bar path failing. So still working at it, but that was a successful uh, 10 sets of three. Now I'm gonna move into some barbell uh, rows. No, what are they called? Landmine, landmine dumbbell rows. You'll see what they are. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking around. Did a 70 pound, I think that's 70 pound dumbbell rows, 10 on each arm. That'll close out an 80% dynamic week. Thanks everybody for joining me. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.